motivated for. Okay, um, right, and we'll get to Kaha to come up. So yeah, uh, David and Kent, do you want to come on up? It's item 10. I think you've got some footage as well, which we'll hopefully get up at the right time. <coughs> Since we have the, uh, the report. How do we get the report up to you? What's that? Let's get underway. Okay. Um, kia ora, councillors. Guys, can we just... We're good to go? Everyone good? Yep. Cool. Kia ora, councillors. Um, uh, I'll just take you through the highlights of the report, which I think you've probably got in front of you, and we'll take it as read. And then at the end, um, we've got the latest drone footage that can show us around the site from above, which will possibly answer some of the queries that uh, or, or um, overlap with some of the things that I've written here in the report. So I guess the first and most important point to make to council uh, councillors is that there are, uh, as, as indicated in the second section, there are no issues the council needs to be aware of of the, of the project at the moment that are causing us significant concern. Work is on programme, continues on programme and is on budget. Um, and we're starting to move now into quality assurance mode, having completed the detailed design. The project team and our board continue to maintain a very strict um, process of control over the project contingency and the risks which uh, were identified at the outset of the project as sitting with council. Uh, and we're comfortable that those issues are still being managed uh, very carefully. Um, work is progressing very well on site, and rather than sort of re, sort of regurgitate what's written down here, I think maybe if we wait till the till the drone footage comes up, and you can ask specific questions of where things are at on site as we have a look at that. Um, in terms of other issues, the final stage consent application was lodged with council in February. Um, we continue to work very closely with Naitu Ahuri's artist on the design of the um, uh, facility and we expect to have uh, some further updates on the external design and the seating bowl available for viewing by the council within the next um, probably month to two months. Uh, it is an iterative process with a night to a artist and many architects involved uh, so it's just managing everybody through that process to get a very good outcome for, for the region. Uh, we continue to liaise with the uh, community. We had our quarterly community uh, meeting or update uh, last night. We have them once a quarter in the um, temporary cathedral. Uh, we have turnouts that vary from hardly any to a few to sort of a handful of people, but um, they certainly all very much appreciate the opportunity. Um, How many did you get last night? I think we had eight right. last night. There was a sweepstake before from the B6 Swap Pack guys. They had one had five, one had seven, so nobody won the beer. A couple of things of interest that were raised by um, the, um, the the people at the meeting last night were um, uh, queries about when the place is up and operating. How will the transportation system work for people coming to big events? Um, when will the uh, roading upgrades around the um, facility be undertaken and will they be complete by the time we get to opening? Um, B6 Wattpack took them through some slides showing them what's been the most recent progress and what is planned for the next few months so that they're up to date with what's going on in their neighbourhood. Um, and, you know, they, they express a high level of gratitude for the engagement for the, for the time that we um, put in and go and talk with them. And, I mean, it's, it's quite informal. We sit around and talk and show them some slides and it's, um, it's all very um, positive. Um, sustainability, um, we're running a bit behind time on presenting back to council a report on the um, sustainability of, uh, of, of the design and the project. We've received a report that we think is actually very good from B6 Swap Pack, but it was a slight um, a bit too much of a summary and so we've gone back to them and asked them to provide more detail which we know is there because they've given us a summary we just want the detail to show us how they got there and we'd like it in sort of graphic and pictorial form so that it's easy to follow we expect to get that back from them within the next probably 
we keep saying next week, but within the next week, um, we'll then um, do a review of that and prepare a report that we can then bring to the council. Uh, on the monthly targets for sustainability, we have a series of matters that are reported on each month by B6 Swap Pack um, with respect to their you know, waste let to landfill, water uses, electricity usage, use of um, um, local contractors, use of um, Māori Pacifica on site, a number of people engaged in training programs, that sort of thing. They are ahead of um, all of the agreed targets on each of those things, which as I say, are reported to us monthly, and we will put that with the one-off sustainability report and a covering note from ourselves so that you can see a full picture. Uh, that's probably my summary of the highlights of my report. Happy to answer questions, but it may be best to look at the pictures first. And I think somebody in the corner over there knows how to do that. So that's the West Stand, which is, um, as you can see, coming along very well as they, they come up the sort of from south up to north. And you can see the top left corner, the South Stand, you can see that the, um, the concrete plats are in there for the seating. Uh, and we'll get there in a moment. But um, those white bits of steel poking above the concrete seats are the vertical trusses. Um, so the ra radial trusses, which are radial, so they go right around the radius of the building vertical bits of steel that are linked together horizontally, which forms the basis for the structure that holds the roof up. Um, one of the members who visited us last night asked if that was about as high as the building gets, and from a visual perspective in the streets surrounding the building, that is about as high as it gets. The midpoint of the roof will be a bit higher than that because it curves from the outsides to the centre, but you won't necessarily see the um, high point from the surrounding streets, you'll see the, um, the facade. The east stand um, is also progressing well with the steel structure up and some of the concrete plats installed sort of about halfway up the eastern side. I think there are seven cranes on site. Nine, nine, sorry, a couple more. <laughs> there are contractors in Christchurch who are asking where all the cranes have gone, but <laughs> <clears throat> the, the largest one is a 600 ton crane which uh, is used, being used mainly by the steel subcontractor from China um, who's providing some of the, or a lot of the steel but not all of it, some of it's coming locally as well. I think that's pretty much a full circumnavigation but you can see now the reality of the field of play inside the bowl and the arena um, of, of, the, of the structure. Thank you for that, and I should just say that the updates that come out in the videos, it's amazing how many people um, contact me saying how good it is, so the team yeah. are doing a great job in communicating it. So. Yeah, we have a lot of people uh, commenting very positively, so, so to the extent that we get feedback from the media and from the business community, both in, uh, in Christchurch, but also throughout the country, because I spend quite a bit of my time in Auckland, and, and, and you know, people from around the place are going, wow, that looks good, how's it going? Um, and um, you know, I'm always pleased to be able to say we're halfway through, roughly. Uh, you know, we're about two years into a four-year contract, so April 2026 is targeted completion date, and about halfway through, you know, we're happy to say on time, on budget. We meet um, monthly with um, Treasury, uh, who obviously have finished paying their component, but are still vitally interested in a very important piece of infrastructure. Uh, and the Treasury guys are, are very, the Treasury team are very happy with progress um, and, and very happy that we maintain a, a good open relationship with them about what's going on. Good. Yeah, well, you must have it on Facebook or something new because there's a lot of people in my yeah, that, yeah, and we've got that a website. like to watch the um, progress. So it's, yeah, yeah, it's really good. Okay, uh, Aaron had a, did you have a question for this? Oh, I had three actually. Yeah, three. So the first one cool. is, should have asked when I first saw the design, but given the shape of the roof, what's the snow plan? The snow plan. Yeah, uh, yeah. it snows every 10 years yeah. here. We get a big dump. Yeah, look, it will have been taken into account in the design, but I can't answer you off the, yeah. uh, off the top of my Alabama head. But I can, next one, I can, we, just, I, I can um, we can come back to you with that. Because it obviously won't fall on those angles, and yep. the, it's thousands. So we'll, they'll thousands come Thousands of yep. kilos. Yep, cool. so that one. And then um, 
uh, that my next one was, uh, are we, where are we at with the changing places? Um, which is the, uh, yep, the yeah. special disability. Special, special bathroom facility for um, uh, people with um, you know, sort extreme, of disability. extreme disabilities. Yep. Uh, we've got a design that's been completed to their specification and we have now received from the change of places people. Know, oh, you have? We've received from them a, uh, a draft sort of agreement of how, how, how that would operate. Okay, so that's contrary to a conversation I had with them last week. So if you could follow that up yep. and, and make sure you're actually talking to the same people. Yeah, right, so, yeah. Um, is that Jen that yeah. you're speaking to? Oh, it yes, is. Okay, is. Yeah. great. Okay, that's good. And then my final one is... Um, if we can get an update on the exterior design, because one of the events yep. that will take place is, um, uh, hopefully, is festival events where you have multiple stages, so like two inside yep. and potentially one out. So you don't want the outside design to exclude an outdoor stage as well for a festival all-day music event. Right, so can I just clarify, do you mean... The exterior design of the building, or the exterior, no, the, 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 the whole ta- 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 yeah, roller, which get, is the um, yeah, if we can see yeah, that. Yeah, and sure. Whatever the latest design is on that, we haven't seen it for a while. Okay, I just want to make sure well, that it doesn't preclude. We we can that include that in the package of further design information that we're hoping to come back with after the um, artists completed their facade work. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. Um, thanks, David. Always. Really interesting to hear what's happening down there. Um, just can you comment a wee bit on the the angle of the um, stairways? Um, I've been to a few stadiums around the world. Um, are they going to be steep? Are they going to be, you know, I mean, was there... Steep issue, I think, is a fair description. I think it, it's a balance between um, maintaining that, that safety and comfort in terms of... Um, uh, patron movement, but also ensuring that you're not going too far back, um, that people are away from the action. So it, it is steepish, but it's certainly no right. steeper than um, what you'd see internationally. Yeah, okay. And just a follow up question mm. you know, you've probably been involved in a few of these. How often, with a project of this size, is it on time, under budget? <laughs> you know? I mean, it, it would seem to me to be rare, but is I think. In this day and age, it is a little bit rare. I think we're seeing the benefit of council having made the decision early on to enter into a design and build contract with um, B6 Swap Pack rather than us owning the design and then just doing the construction. Um, certainly when we had Treasury down here last year, they were thrilled uh, and said to us, gosh, we haven't got other projects like this that are on time and on budget. So yeah. um, I, I think it is a bit rare, but I think the council has done uh, and, and our board have done a very good job of identifying risks at the outset and allocating where those risks should sit and where the money for them should be. Great. Excellent. Thank you. I can just clarify that, though, because while it's currently on time and on budget, that's because we have both at various times changed the time and the budget and increased both of them already due to other factors. Yeah, uh, certainly that not, was done prior to the execution yeah, of the I contract. Don't want to have an yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to have an argument at Council over that. I mean, there'll be different views, but... Yeah. Okay, right, so I think we're good. Yanni's yeah. got a question, and then we're going to move on. Yeah, thanks. Um, so I don't know if you were here earlier. We've heard that uh, NZTA has not agreed to the funding for the road improvements, and they've delayed it until October. So I don't know who's working with you around those projects. Um, we, uh, largely through Kent, maintain a line of communication with the council officers working on those okay. particular projects so we'll that was news to us I think when we got that a short yeah. short while ago I think it was news to everybody but it's certainly something we'll continue to work with so that the thing is coordinated right okay and then obviously the resident the local residents are probably yes. quite interested in that yeah um, they are just I want to just check on the cultural design um I'm just trying to understand uh, I guess if we can get any greater clarity around when that will become public. But also, you know, obviously we've been privileged to see the initial yep. um, concepts. But do we get a sense of how much those have changed or if things uh, are not going to progress because of budget? Like that was probably one of the big questions at the time that we got the initial briefing. Yeah, looked great, but what's the cost? How can, it, how can we afford to do it? Can we afford to do it? And will anything be cut back as a yep, result? Yeah, sure. No. Um, uh, 
the as the design has uh, gone through its iterations, it has not changed dramatically from what has been presented before. There are subtle changes to the colour palettes, uh, but they're not dramatic. Um, I don't think there's really any other changes of, of, no. of, of note are there, no, um, there is, is no from what's been presented to the council before. Um, we have a budget allocation for this work and um, both the designer and the architects have been working together with the building contractor to ensure that they're not designing something that's completely, um, gosh, we're going to have to build a new facade on top of the facade just to cope with this. So we're working within the colour palettes of the um, standard colour palettes of the um, of, of the modular stuff that's being put on the building on the facade so that we're not asking them to create new colours or anything like that. So it, it is, at the moment, progressing within what we think is um, our, our, our budgeted allocation for it. So the, uh, so the outside will still look quite grey, basically? White and grey? No. No, it's... No, there's uh, three. Yep. It's, uh, I think Morgan... Um, the artist that we've been working with presented some updated renders uh, when she was here probably you know, four to six months ago now. So they had um, they had um, greens and browns. Um, around okay, so side. we're not going to design the colour today, but I think you've had enough assurance from the but team. When are, so, yeah. but, sorry, what was the date that we're looking at to get that? I right? haven't got a specific date because... Um, uh, sometimes architects and artists uh, don't comply with specific dates, but um, <laughs> uh, we, we are very hopeful that within two months we'll be in okay. a position to bring it forward. Okay, cool. And that'll come back at the right time. Thanks, Yanni. Okay, so that's been moved and seconded by the Mayor and Councillor Peters. Any discussion? All in favour? Against? That's carried. Thank you both very much for Thank that you. And, and all the work the teams are doing. Okay, Melanie's in the hot seat and Christchurch City Holdings will come in now.